Hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to tell you something now that sort of uh, might be of interest to you. It may uh, improve your fishing in certain circumstances. It certainly has mine. Uh, and that's the use of a, this, this particular lead collar, trilobe. It might be a bit alien to some people, certainly the younger or newer uh, people that are, are, are newcomers to carp fishing. Uh, this particular lead is a strange shape, it's got a flat side to it. It's almost like uh, sort of out of Star Trek. And these have been around for a hell of a long time, since probably the early 80s. They're all but forgotten about. Now I'm from the northwest of England and we fish a lot of silty, I know it's no cliche, oh we fish silty mares and all that, but we get silty lakes everywhere across Europe, the UK. So I did some tests some years ago and I cast across a syndicate lake I was in and I wanted to see how far in to the silt the rigs went. So I cast some conventional sort of zip leads across. I had a 7 inch hook length, one of about 10 inches and one of 12 inches with a white pop up on. I had shock leaders on so I banged them right across the lake into about 4 feet of water which isn't unusual if you're fishing to a tree line that's what you would be doing. I thought I'd go round, it's quite a silty lake and I went round the other side of the lake and I thought it would be easy to spot these white pop ups. Wrong. I couldn't find them and I thought what the hell's going on here? I thought, did it drop short? I'm sure I nearly clipped the trees. In the end, I had to walk with the stick, feeling for the shot leaders, and to my horror, all three were down mouse holes, basically right in the crack in the bottom, and the pop-ups weren't takeable, they were out of sight. And that kind of horrified me. So I started, I mean, it's extreme, that, you know, uh, if you're feeling the lead down normally, it stuns it a little bit and you can get the drop. But this was unavoidable. I still tried to feel it down and it still did that. So, I thought, we've got huge presentation problems here. So I did some experimenting and through pure physics and mechanics, I realised that these trilobes behave different from using them. I tried them. And I realised that when they hit the water, it, because they're flat underneath, they fly a bit strange, they hit the water, it kind of stuns them, and then they go forward and just rest gently on the bottom. They don't cannon in. Because of the shape, it's sort of not aerodynamic. They just kind of splat on the water. And uh, I did some tests with these. I went round and everything's perfect. It's all presented nicely. And I thought, oh my God, I didn't expect it. So then I started doing tests fishing over uh, this sort of silt weed and Canadian pond weed, various types of, you know, problem presentations. And to my uh, never ending delight, they presented perfect. And we actually did a match on Horseshoe Lake, uh, an interregional one many years ago. And I was the only one that turned up with these and we're in the uh, summer bay that was it was clogged with weed, it was absolutely festooned with it, Canadian and that onion weed. And the two lads I was with, it was teams of three, they, they couldn't get a drop and they couldn't find a clear spot on it, so I just said, stuff it, I'm gonna fish in the weed and put the trilobes on. I had about eight fish fishing on top of the weed from the use of these things because I could present so it was findable by the fish so the amount of fish it's caught me because I can fish on weed and fish over deep silt and one of the other good things about these things is when you retrieve they instantly come to the surface so for winter fishing what I do is I overcast past where I think the fish are I do a retrieving job and you'll see the lead come to the surface immediately, virtually immediately, it's up there with your rig. So I'll wind it in over where the fish are, in a stealth mode, open the bail arm and just let the rig gently drop down amongst the fish, without casting a lead right amongst them. And these are just perfect for that because they're playing to the surface on the retrieve. 
So they're worth investigating. Do your own tests, casting them across margins and into weed and everything, and you'll see that you get a very good presentation where it's almost impossible with other kinds of leads. So try low leads, look around for them. They're very difficult to get, uh, but if you look hard enough, you'll find them and they are worth having in your uh, lead bag, or you know. So think about that uh, and include it in your armory.